after uh, crossing, it's only about a, um, a good 15 minute drive and we've just scored our nice self a nice little spot along the uh, Ord River, a um, place called Barton's Crossing. So it's a bit of a slow process setting up, but there's a house, so we eventually pull stuff out. <laughs> Starting off with the boat, got to get that tinny in the water. This was our actual first voyage with this tinny, so that was a good thing. Just a bit of explain is uh, we got our electric winch that lowers down the artini on just got a little hand controller, two straps that hook up to the back of it of the tinny and up to the back of the uh, trailer to stop it from sliding down. And another two points up further up near the uh, nose of the tinny on either side. And then this the winch rope joins them two up. And we just lower it down, just using the um, winch controller. Oh, another thing is too, is the boat and trailer combined, but this is any roughly about 110 kilos, so definitely not much weight up there. It's um, one of them fold up aluminium, aluminium trailers, boat trailers, so <laughs> yeah, she goes good. I wanted to go this way because all the boat loaders and that, they are easy in that, but um, compared to what we've done with this, it's there's no weight to it at all. Just the weight of the uh, actual winch itself, and that's it. We've just put a rack up there, something easy, easy that I can fix and make myself. Well, let's get this bad boy off into the water. Let's go bring on them bazzers. Oh, <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> Hold on to her! Yo, 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 yo. They're feisty buggers. Nice little catch and release. <laughs> cool. Oh, yep. Oh, he landed right too. Let it go. Yum yum. On the bazzers. <laughs> cool crook infested water barrel release. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh, should be another big one around here somewhere. Oh, this is what we call the D4 as well. This is on the Ord River, um, just out of Kununurra. So yeah, just so you know. It's a nice little spot. We're probably camped, I don't know, three or four k's back up the stream. So yeah, can't really get any further because you've got some rocks here, but you don't need to go any further. We've got everything here. <laughs> well, being as prepared as we was, <laughs> we're going to quickly float back to camp and grab some more gear and get stuck back into these barrows. Yeah, boy. <laughs> so this is a look around the spot where we're at. It's on the lower Ord. We haven't been catching stonkers, but we've got a couple of keepers. That's around. Oh, then. We're gonna get back to it. She's on again. <laughs> this is unbelievable. We need a camera crew. <laughs> is it? Oh, no, none. Another little bar. Oh, yeah. Not huge, but they're so much good fun. <laughs> so nice and clean up here. Remember, we're in crop territory, so we're not leaning over that edge. I'm just saying a brief. Um, as they come in, it spat out a bit of bait. 
So obviously that's what they're after. So if you've got a lure that symbolizes that, that's the right word, put it on. That's what I'd do. If yeah, if you ever see that, so that gives you an idea of what they're after. The color and that, so yeah, cool. Well then, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Baby. Bad little bazaar. Many a little one. Oh. He's a cutie. Slow way. It's always good to fun catch good fun to catch stuff. <laughs> Doesn't matter if they're huge. Get him off. Hey. Let him go big and strong. Oh he's a feisty one. Look how silver they are. They're fresh. So clean. Oh and And five seconds later, just saw it in again. And he feels like a lily again, but still. I said, they're so much fun. Feet sitting here, not catching nothing. Oh, he's a bit bigger. Getting better at this. Um, <laughs> catching by <landing> yourself. <laughs> I guess, obviously we couldn't do the um, uh, trip around the lake like we wanted to because uh, it's really low up at Lake Argyle, so this is what we did instead. We thought we'll come to the lower Ord, <laughs> catch a few little bazzers. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, we've caught some good ones. <laughs> Beautiful. All right then, back at it we go. Oh, um, that was not a bad day's fish. We'll um, take him up here, fill him up, and we'll cook you some fish and chips for tea tonight. So easy. <laughs> Back again. Oh, first up, thanks for coming to tea with us. Thought you would have anyway. We got fish and chips. Um, before I start, uh, for whoever's watching, we've got a deal too, if you want. So we can have a cookbook, either one choice of uh, either cooler. Um, we'll throw on some stickers and uh, fishing shirt. This is the new hunt and fish one. So it's got the croc, the pig, the bar, and the jabaru on there. Um, yeah, so all that uh, for 85 bucks delivered. So like I said, you get a choice of any one of our long sleeve fishing shirts, uh, the cookbook, and the choice of either one of our coolers. So which is the follow our tracks one or hunt and fish. So cool. They even come clean too. <laughs> These are well used. Well then, too easy. Let's get to it. So, beer batter fish and chips. Who doesn't like it? Um, doesn't matter what beer you use, obviously. Everyone knows Great Northern, that's what I'll use. Um, so yeah, got a bit of flour. Just a bit of plain flour. Beer's got to be real chilled. I want it really chilled. So, first up, we're going to put a bit of um, curry powder in it. So, about a spoon or so. Get a bit of curry happening. Um, uh, your garlic salt or pepper, whatever you got. Crack a bit of that in there. And of course, just your salt. Pinch of salt. Alright. Now we'll pull this in there and give her a good stir. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh. Mrs. wouldn't let me get the full strength, so yeah, it had to be half. <laughs> Might even need a bit more. Look at that. Kind of reasonably thick. This one's actually short when I've made it to go into the drill. <laughs> I don't think um, I could handle the drill at the moment. Can't even handle this. <laughs> I don't think I could handle the drill at the moment. Give her a good mix up. Might even use some of the missus' beer. Oh, 
I got the oil preheating already. Thank you. Mm -mm. <laughs> the bar is all cut up. It's a good day today out on the water. Not too bad. Not all of them are keepers, obviously, but being out there, at least you're pulling some in. That's still a good feeling. Try and get all the lumps out. I'm not too fussy. Oh, that's pretty good. Test one there. Put one in. Yeah, it's not a bad coating. Best thing to use is a skewer. Make sure that coat stays on there. Good way to test the oil. You know, see if it's hot enough. Just dip the end of the skewer in there. She bubbling up pretty way, well, pretty straight away, so that's good. <laughs> Show a bit of fish in there. Oh, I love fish and chips. Especially when you're having it right on the river. <laughs> Sure that coating stays on them. You're gonna put some in first and put some in second. Just make sure you're pushing them one side so you know what's been in there longest. I usually try and put my biggest bits in first, so don't want to overkill the pan, you still want to keep it at a nice temperature. Don't want to put too much stuff in there to cool, cool it down, I mean. Mrs. was just saying that smells good. <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Flipping them over. Usually how I tell when they're ready is I just give them a little poke. And if it goes in easy and comes out easy, it's pretty well done. Now these won't have much longer to go. Oh, they're looking good. These are pretty much done. Nice golden brown. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Beautiful. That's hot. <laughs> That's really hot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can't even cook after having a few beers. Oh yes, check that out, golden brown, barramundi. Chips are getting ready over in the corner here. Put the chippies in. Trick, that oil's got to be really hot. Beautiful. 
Your water is ready. Go. If you are wondering, yes, we do have a few people here, so <laughs> that's why there's so much. And the chippies are done. Beautiful. Crack a little bit of um, chicken salt on the chippies. And there you go. Dinner is uh, fish and chips barra style <laughs> on that Ward River. Don't forget guys, 85 bucks if you want to grab a deal. So that's uh, any uh, long sleeve fishing jerk we have. Comes with a cookbook and the choice of either one of the coolers that I showed you before. <laughs> Too easy. All right then, dinner time. So we're just coming cruising down. I'm just flicking along the shores and um, must get a lot of local kids come out here and they must spend a bit of their school time out here and this is what they do, I reckon it's awesome. Come out, paint some rocks up. So I've been, sorry, I've been passing them and I've been walking through the tracks and that. You know, that's a mad idea. So we did see a heap of people come down and trophies and that and yeah, that's what they must do. So good job to them. I think that's awesome. You're going to learn a lot more out here than anywhere else. <laughs> yep. Cool, cool. Good on yous. Oh, just thought I'd show you that. We'll keep chugging along. <laughs> So there's nothing better than every spot you go to, jumping on the quad, going for a ride, or going for a walk and sussing out around the area. And this is the sort of stuff I think it's pretty mad to come across. So it looks like the boys have been out here doing a bit of a hungy. You can see by the hole and the campfire, heating up all the rocks and that, all the barks peeled off the trees. And there's your underground camp oven, the original for all this other stuff coming along. How mad's that? I really like finding stuff like this. What a kitchen view. <laughs> Dog's loving it. And then we come to this. So it either looks like a cubby house or it'd definitely be a nice little view up there to um, take out a bit of feed. <laughs> Definitely can see over a lot of stuff. there we have the Ord River in WA. Definitely should be on the bucket list if you're ever coming over this way. 
definitely. And there we have, camped up on the Ord River, all over and done with, for about how long? Uh, yeah, about a month and a half, I reckon. Give or take. Yeah. <laughs> Probably more give than take. Yeah. But now we've changed our mind and we were meant to be going down the west coast, but then Bree woke up one morning and said, where are we going to next? Let's go to the east coast. <laughs> Let's go to the east coast. So, we're off to the east coast, back over the Ivanhoe we go, but it definitely has been a wicked spot over this way. We've been here for a little bit now. And yeah, um, well, back to the salt. Yep. Get a bit of salty hair. Yeah, yeah, definitely. One other thing, guys. Um, we just both want to thank all of our followers. Um, really makes doing this sort of stuff worthwhile. And to those who think it can't be done, well, it definitely can be. Um, I sure proved that right. <laughs> Taking off without nothing and then creating what I've got now. And now Bree and I are both happy with it. And um, also, a lot of people think that we get paid for this, but I guarantee we don't get paid for it. The only money we make off this is our own merchandise, and we sell that to help fund our way. But we will thank some of the companies that supply us with some of the gear. So, you know, we're happy with that, and it really does help. Saves us a lot of money in that case, which is like Century Batteries for our batteries and that. Um, Cruise Master, like they come on big time with our um, camper trailer when we got it built. Um, all of our independent suspension and that, Red Arc Electronics, uh, all the electrical stuff for it, Power Tech for their cell fire so we can keep posting to you guys even when we are in a bit remoter places where it's hard to come by of service, and CSA wheels and BF Goodridge tyres. But at the end of the day, you think we give you motivation? Well, you actually give us the motivation. Because reading some of them messages and comments that you leave just makes us want to get out there even more and keep showing you. Alright then, we're off, eh? Easy. See you guys.